Freedom Homestead. It is actually after dark on a Saturday, which is totally not the time that I usually film a grocery haul, but here we are. Uh, today has been a long day, but a good day. Today I met up with my friend Mary and we both went shopping at the two Amish salvage stores that I normally shop at and I got some really great deals. And the purpose for this grocery haul was to kind of replenish um, our extended pantry and our working pantry. Um, you guys know that my family, we have had um, the COVID and we, um, we, we really went through a lot of our preps. So um, I'm just, we were just replenishing and wanted to restock on whatever deals that I can find at the salvage store. So I did go to two different salvage stores today. I went to the one that I typically shop at and the one that has the deli and bulk section. And I found some really, really great deals that I'm really excited about. So I'm gonna turn you around and show you what I got. All right, so we're just gonna scan down the table. Um, and we're gonna start down here with this one. This section is from the uh, Amish salvage store that has the deli and bulk section. They also, of course, have a salvage section and I got something from each place, or from, uh, I got something from each uh, part of the store. So first, let's start down here with the soups. Now, before we left, uh, I asked Jack, was there anything that you wanted me to get? And he said, I really would like some more canned soups. And um, I found these Amy's Organic Soups. If you shop for these at a regular retail store, you know that you're gonna pay a couple of bucks a can at least. Um, these were 75 cents. So I got him a couple of the minestrone soups, and then I got him four cans of the Organic Chili Black Bean Soup. So hopefully those are good, and hopefully he likes them. Um, I got, this was an excellent, excellent find. Um, I just bought a, a bag of this a few weeks ago at Walmart, and it was like three twenty four. Do you see that price tag? One twenty five, one twenty five, and so I got three. So basically, I got these three for the price that I would pay for one at Walmart. So uh, with holidays coming, doing a lot of baking, this is an excellent, excellent find. Great stock up price. Here I have some chickpeas. Very excited to have this. Um, I have never made hummus, but I really wanna try it. So um, yeah, some garbanzo beans. I like having uh, these around um, just for a quick meal. These are great to go with burritos, great with uh, beans and sausage. So yeah, I got four of those for 35 cents each. I grabbed a couple of these, these were $1.50. They had uh, this multi-grain artisan sandwich bread for $1.49 a piece. I got two. One thing that I really wanted in my extended pantry was canned fruit, and they had these irregular sliced pears in natural juice for 75 cents. Excellent price. My Aldi carries sliced pears, but in syrup, and they are 95 cents for a can, so this is a great buy. I got six of those. They had some unbleached all-purpose flour for $1.75, I got two. Um, my friend Mary that I went with, she found this, and I was like, that's actually a really excellent price, 75 cents for this Newman's Own Honey Mustard, so glad to have that. And I actually bought three of these as a treat for me and the kids. They had these, I think you can't say coots down, coots down, uh, root beer. And it was 99 cents and I really liked the ingredients. Um, so this one's mine and it's really good. Um, and then they had some Pacific Foods organic tomato soup for $1.50, so I got that. Uh, I like to keep dessert mixes on hand for, you know, if we have somebody coming over, if the kids have friends over, or if we just have a sweet tooth. 99 cents for Kodiak cakes is a fantastic price. Usually these are like, what, four or five bucks, um, depending on where you shop at. In the deli section, they had this big package of pepperoni for $2.50. Was really happy about that. And then I was also really excited to find this. This is a six pound box of smoked sausage for $10. That's an excellent price and I'm very happy to have it. Look you guys, they had canning lids 
there was a limit five. Uh, it was a limit five, uh, so I got five. They were three thirty-three per box, and I'm very very happy to have found those. Uh, I have a lot of wide mouth lids, but I have more wide mouth lids than I do available jars. What I needed were regular mouth, and I was so happy to find those. Um, I also got some ground cumin for $1.53 and some cinnamon for $2.84. Um, I got a bulk bag of quick oats. It was $4.56 for a six, almost seven pound bag of quick oats. And I got some more of this pure raw unpasteurized honey. Um, $12.50, which is the best price I've ever seen for uh, pure honey. So I grabbed that. So everything at this salvage store was $88. So that was a lot, but $15 in lids, $12.50 in honey. Um, of course, this was $10. So it definitely adds up, but this is a really, really great haul and I'm very happy with it. Now on to the other one. This is from the, ah, this is from the salvage store that I typically uh, shop at and you can tell that I do have a few items that are not groceries. So let's talk about these first uh, My daughter has a deep-seated love for fuzzy socks and they had these they look really nice They have a Sherpa lining. They were $2.99. So I grabbed these for her um, I was planning on giving them to him for Christmas But I just went ahead and gave it to her when we got home, but they're really pretty and it has like the little um, the little dots on the bottom to keep you from slipping. Um, so anyway, really, really nice for $2.99. And I got myself something. I have been wanting to get a electric kettle for quite a while. And when I saw this and they were $4.29, I had to get it. So hopefully it works. I did ask the girl at the checkout, if it doesn't work, can I bring it back? She said, keep your receipt. I said, yes, ma'am. So, um, anyway, Less than $5 for an electric kettle. I'm happy about that. Okay, so now for the grocery items. Um, they had these bags of bars. Um, they had all different kinds. There are several bars in this bag. These are the RX bars, which you guys know these are really expensive. It was a dollar for this bag, and I think there's six in here. Um, this is the chocolate sea salt flavor. This bag is a mixture of Cliff Bars, all different flavors, again, $1. And then I got another thing of RX Bars. This is the peanut butter chocolate uh, flavor, and it was a dollar. They had 20 ounce bags of the Ghirardelli 60% uh, cocoa for $2.39, which is a great price for Ghirardelli, and I bought two. With the holidays around the corner, like I said, we're going to be doing a lot of baking, so I was very happy about that deal. Um, Stroop waffles. I've mentioned these before. Sonia, when she lived in the Netherlands, sent us some from the Netherlands, and we absolutely fell in love with these. They are so addictive and so delicious. So we got uh, I got two boxes of the Stroop waffles for $1.89 each. Uh, wanted to get some baking soda for the extended pantry, and these were $0.59 cents each, so I got two. We got some Annie's Organic Toaster Pastries for 99 cents. I got two of those. I got, they had cream of bacon. I don't know that I've ever seen cream of bacon. So I got two cans, they were 59 cents each. Another great find, artichoke hearts, eight to 10 in a can. Look at this, 59 cents. I love getting artichoke hearts for homemade pizzas, Tuscan chicken, spinach artichoke dip. We like these, so I was happy to find them for 59 cents. It was a great buy. Got a bag of some Jiffy White popcorn for 99 cents. Good buy. Um, they had the LaCroix. I got a couple of the peach pear uh, flavor and a couple of the uh, coconut. Got some Annie Shells and White Cheddar, 59 cents per box. I got four boxes. A couple are going to stay in the working pantry. A couple are going to go down into the extended pantry. Um, got some chocolate chunk cookies as a treat. This was a fantastic buy. Even though I canned a bunch of salsa uh, from the garden, these were $1.50 
for a four pound tub. Um, so that, that was definitely a good buy for paste picante sauce. Uh, I got some ramen. They were nine cents each. There were more, but Parker took some and put them in his room. I actually bought two of these. These were on sale for 69 cents. These Santa Cruz organic juices. Um, that was a great buy. For myself, I got a 90% cocoa chocolate bar. Um, it was $1.29. It's Lent. Good price. I got another one, a touch of sea salt, dark chocolate. Good price. Um... I got two boxes of elbow macaroni, 99 cents. That's about normal. Um, I also got two boxes of the Ditalini pasta. This is really, really great for homemade soups because the pasta is small. It also cooks up fast, so it's great for a quick dinner. 89 cents, I got two boxes. Um, they had some organic beef broth for $1.19. I got two of those. Those are gonna go down into the extended pantry because I have some up here. Um, again, for homemade pizza night, traditional basil pesto for $1.29. Great price on that. They had some golden butter Pillsbury uh, cake mix. Great to have on hand again for unexpected company. Um, and that was $0.79. Cents. In this house, we drink tea. There is always sweet tea in our refrigerator. $0.89. Cents. You can't beat that. You cannot beat that, especially for a name brand. So excited. I got all three boxes that they that they had marked down. Back here, we have some cereals. We have a company coming in a couple of weeks. 79 cents for this mermaid cereal, which kind of tastes like Apple Jacks. And then they had the Post Golden Oreo uh, O's for 79 cents. So we got a couple of boxes of that and that will also go down into our extended pantry. So no one is tempted to eat them before our company comes in a couple of weeks. Uh, here we have some grain-free dog biscuits for the puppers, $1.99, good deal. Um, I found more of these. I have a bunch of these in my extended pantry. I have used a bunch of them too. These make the quickest dinners, 49 cents, you heat it up with just a little bit of water and it's ready in, I mean, less than a minute. It is so fantastic. I love having these burrito bowls. Uh, when we do Chinese, it is just a great, great thing to have on hand for a quick meal. I got two containers of mayonnaise. You can never have enough mayonnaise in my opinion. This is probably my favorite find of the day. Now, um, back when I was doing keto and I still like low carb, um, I fell in love with the G Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauces. Shakima, I'm sure you're watching. Girl, look at that price tag. $1.59. I could have squealed so loud when I saw these. I literally gasped when I saw them. I bought four bottles of this G Hughes. Each of these are a different flavor. This one's hickory. This one's honey. This one's original, and this one is the sweet and spicy. I cannot tell you how thrilled I am about this find. I grabbed four boxes of the organic bunny grams. They were marked down to 49 cents. I love it when they, my friend Mary that was with me, she's like, funny, you're already in a salvage store, and they have a discount section. I'm like, yes, that's, that's the ones you want to hit right there. Um, okay, again, you guys know I work full-time from home. Um, and sometimes I just don't feel like standing in the kitchen for an hour to cook dinner. I uh, sometimes just want something quick. Was really excited to find these organic one pot pastas. Uh, this one is pizza mac with hidden veggies, which is great for the kids. Not my kids, my kids like veggies, but if your kids don't, that's a great, it's a great thing. Um, and then this one is uh, cheesy, uh, cheesy mac. And you just add, this one says you can add hot dogs, but I can use that smoked sausage. I can use ground beef. Anyway, these were 99 cents a piece. So even Parker can make that for dinner for us one night. So I was really happy about that. Um, we'll have some of these up here. Um, I'll probably put all of them up here. Um, so au gratin potatoes, 79 cents. This is a typical price at Aldi, but for a name brand, this is a really good price. And these are really great for a quick side dish or you can add protein to it and then make it into a casserole for a one pot meal. <clears throat> Let's see, they had some oven bags for 59 cents, tis the season. Um, 
This is my favorite deodorant. If you buy this anywhere else, you're going to pay about $5. So $2.39 um, is a really, really great price. And you guys, if you have ever bought an Epic bar, like at a convenience store, how much do you pay? Probably about $3.50, close to $4.00. 49 cents for bison so was really happy to find this i bought six of these and my thinking was yes these would be great these are a great low carb uh, protein snacks but jack when he goes hunting when he he can throw some in his cave pack if he wants to go hiking these are just really really great thing to have on hand these would really be great for bug out bags to keep in your car for emergencies um, or just to have in your purse if you get hungry when you're out and about. Just a great thing to have. Um, okay, and then we're going to end this haul with some feminine products. You guys know, name brand at like Dollar General. This box is going to cost you about eight, seven, eight dollars I paid $5.49 for this one and $4.19 for this one. So great savings there. You guys, I actually forgot about this. This is another one of my favorite finds at the uh, store that I typically shop at, the salvage store. They had in their uh, one freezer that they just got recently, um, they had these uh, pork sausages for $1.19. And they had these uh, Hillshire Farm Cheddarwurst for $1.69. And they had two of them, so I got both of them. That salvage store, I spent $101. So that is a lot, but I got a ton. It took me 15 minutes to show you everything I got. So I'm really excited about all of the finds. I saved a ton of money getting these things, and I can really start to replenish our extended pantry and our working pantry. So anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul, and I am imploring you to be vigilant, be prayerful, and be prepared a lot of crazy things going on out in the world right now, and we need to make sure that we take care of ours. So anyway, until next time, guys, God bless.